Hi, I'm Chris and I have autoimmune hypoparathyroidism. Bit of a tongue twister, that one. Uh, what it basically means is I caught glandular fever when I was 12 and then my body attacked my parathyroid glands. So essentially they don't work, they don't do the job. So what is autoimmune hypoparathyroidism? Well, basically it means if you think of like a diabetic with uh, insulin levels, with me, it's the same way, but with calcium and magnesium levels. So I can't regulate, absorb, or, you know, naturally keep that level that you need to function normally. Calcium, magnesium are essential for all muscle function, including your brain. Um, so when things were starting to deteriorate, about three years ago, uh, the disease progressed quite aggressively. I was starting to lose my speech, my memory. There's about 20 plus years of my life I can't remember at all. Massive black spots. And it's affecting my mobility as well. So I had uh, walking sticks, I was struggling to walk, I had splints on my wrists, I was in agony all the time. Still am in a lot of pain, but for different reasons. The disease basically meant I had to take a medication called 1-alpha or alpha capsule. And over 23 years of taking that medication, it attacked my kidneys. That medication stopped working when the disease progressed and um, they were then unable to regulate my levels and essentially things started to deteriorate. I was told I'd have a couple of years to live or a couple of years before dialysis with a very limited life expectancy after that. So my kidneys were deteriorating at a frighteningly quick rate. They were filling up with kidney stones essentially. So I fought for the drug called Natpara. And that para is a synthetic PTH, which is basically the PTH, the parathyroid hormone that I don't generate naturally. I've been on that now for the last two years and I've improved hugely. So thanks to Parathyroid UK for all of their support, uh, for helping me increase my knowledge and to fight for this medication that's changed my life. Wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for those guys.